Okay guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and start with the first way that I like to preserve my curls. And I pretty much do two French twists on each side of my hair. Now, if your hair is parted down the side or middle, you can still do this. Just make sure you twist the hair in the way that you curl it. So I always curl my hair away from my face, so I am twisting away from the face. And I'm gonna twist all the way down to my ends. And then after that, I'm just going to wrap the twist around itself to form a bun. Now I'm just gonna secure that with an elastic hair tie and I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. So it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory and I like to pull on the bun just a little bit so that my hair isn't too tight. And here I'm just pulling the hair on my nape area so that it's not too tight around the neck because that can get kind of uncomfortable while you're sleeping. And now I'm just going to tie my hair with a silk scarf to make sure that my hair stays in place. Now that is the first way to preserve your curls. The takedown is pretty easy. I just take the scrunchies out and just shake my hair out. Okay, now moving on to option number two. Now this is the one that I usually do most of the time. I just put my hair into two high buns. So I'm just gonna begin brushing my hair into a high ponytail on this side. And I like to do a super, super high pony and I highly recommend it because it's a lot easier to sleep and more comfortable. So make sure it's at the top of your head, like very top of your head. And I just begin twisting my hair like I did the other one and I twist away from the face. And I twist all the way to the end and wrap the hair around itself. Now I'm going to go ahead and secure that with a hair tie and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. And this is my favorite one because of course it's more comfortable to sleep because you can sleep on either side, your back or your stomach. So you're not limited to however you want to sleep. And I also like it because it creates more waves when you take it down the next morning. So it creates a really nice beachy voluminous look. So if you're not into more curls or more waves in your hair, you wanna keep it nice and loose, then I recommend the first one. But if you don't mind more curls, more beachy wave look, then I recommend this one. So this is my favorite one that I like to do all the time. And of course, I'm just going to tie my silk scarf on. Now, sometimes I do forget to put my silk scarf on. That's why I always sleep with a silk pillowcase, just in case I forget. And the takedown for this one is pretty simple as well. You just want to take the scrunchies out and unravel the buns and just shake your hair out. And sometimes I will apply a serum or something to my ends if I need to, but most of the time I usually don't. So those are the two ways I preserve my curls overnight. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see y'all next time.